Hey everyone, in this video I want to share with you my favorite uh, code recovery method. Why it's my favorite? Because it's really quick, it's really easy, no efforts, and the chemicals I use you can find in the pharmacy, in the near supermarket, so no, no issues to supply with these chemicals. Okay, what we need? We need some tap water, we need table salt, we need citric acid, we need 3% hydrogen peroxide. I found it in the pharmacy. It's used to treat skin irritate wounds or some stuff like this. So it's quite affordable and available chemical. I picked 3% because I don't need more for this reaction. But when I went to the pharmacy, they also offered me 6 and 30%. Maybe it's different in different countries. So what should I do? I have tap water at about 300 milliliters. I'll just quickly put my citric acid in the tap water. I'll put my table salt and I will, let me open this. I'll put my hydrogen peroxide, 3%. And I'll set up. What is the goal? These are ram fingers from 10 ram sticks. So, what is the key here? Citric acid is not easy to dissolve. And I usually use my magnetic stirrer or I spend 10 minutes stirring this solution. So, I will stir this until it's clear and show you how the action starts. Okay, five minutes later, I'm ready with my solution. What I have in this beaker? I have citric acid, I have table salt, I have hydrogen peroxide from the pharmacy 3% and tap water. I remove my magnetic stirrer and I will add my round fingers. I'll break them a little, like this. So, let's put the round fingers inside. And I'm putting them, I'll tell you what I expect to happen. So, we have citric acid. Citric acid is a weak acid. But it's really good, for one thing, to dissolve copper. And we know we have copper under the gold plating. So our target is copper under the gold plating to be dissolved by the citric acid and gold plating to be removed from the round fingers. Let's wait and see what will happen. Okay, about 10 minutes later we have uh, this solution. The uh, reaction already started, so we have small bubbles inside. And I will leave it outside for the next two hours and show you the result. Uh, doesn't need attention, just leave it outside and forget for two hours. Okay guys, so that's the final result. I have my solution, I have my gold floating in the solution and I use a simple filter to separate gold from the solution. That's how I process my ram fingers, sword card fingers and other gold plated fingers I collect from computer scrap. Takes some time, two, three hours, but actually you do nothing in these three hours. You just leave it, you can look from time to time how it's going. And if you see that uh, you still have some gold plating left and reaction is stopping, just add a little peroxide and reaction will restart. Just don't add too much peroxide because you may speed up the reaction too much and a lot of foam uh, and bubbles can go out from your beaker and you can use your floating gold. As you can see here, it's floating. So... That's all from me. Hope it's 
useful, it's really easy, and this is my quickest, cheapest and best go recovery method.